Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros. You see him on the screen if you're subscribed to Drinking Bros Podcast on YouTube. We got John Brink is with us today, who is constantly lowering the bar for all of us, I would say. Probably. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. That's my new tagline. <laughs> a lot of you know John from his work in sports, working for uh, in his production company with the Washington Wizards for fucking, what, 18 years? Uh, 90 know, years. Long time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they know me for the Wizards, but they know me. Well, I know, but they, people know yeah. your production company, and they also produce Fight Science, Sports Science. Fight Science, I believe you started with Randy Couture as a fan favorite. Yep. Um, right. Been on the show, was yeah. in Range 15. Yeah, so you know him for a little, all those reasons. But what you don't know about him is, as a man of science, he's very skeptical. And yes, right. despite being skeptical, he is a big fan of conspiracy theories. Yes. And recently, the U.S. government has tried to distract us from the fact that most of our politicians are pedophiles yep. by releasing information about UFOs. Nice. I like killing pedophiles. I like UFOs. Let's do this. You're torn right now. Um, I'm not. I can do both. Okay. Like, I'm not going to get distracted. I'll kill pedophiles at night. During the day, UFOs. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, or vice so versa. Let's start with the, the biggest story here, um, John. Um, Go on. The, the Pentagon said that they were going to release uh, some potential pictures uh, and video of what I guess would be described as a, a, a spaceship, well, what perhaps. They, what they said were they were vehicles not of this world, mm -hmm. at least according to them. Yeah. So what does that mean? It, it means spaceship. Know. It doesn't yes. mean like a, a remote controlled car. No. Right? I don't think they mean that it would uh, like somebody from um, the moon took a wrong turn and drove to Earth. Yeah. No. Yeah. It, it's it's yeah. definitely a spaceship. Now, when you heard this, because of your insane amount of hours spent on a sci-fi TV. Uh, That's right. What, what's your thoughts on this? My, hey, here, here are my thoughts on it. And, you know, I don't want to be a party pooper to everybody who's now freaking out, but I just find the timing of it all uh -huh. to be suspect. So I have, are you, are you, are you, your viewers able to see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Right, you can see my screen. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, I'm going to put something yeah. up here. Okay. And I'm going to say, I'm going to put something up right here. All this right. is from, the, this is from one of the articles that was published on, on this thing. It says the unit, the unit is the group in the government that's been doing these, these studies. It says the unit, which is now part of the Office of Naval Intelligence, has spent over a decade discussing mysterious events in classified briefings, according to the news outlet. A government contractor told the Times that he gave a classified briefing to the Department of Defense in March of 2020, describing ah. retrievals from off-world vehicles not made on this earth. That's a quote. Okay. Now, I, I, I submit to you. I, I, all right. All right. I will accept your submission, and I will respond, sir. Uh, my response now, is March was – because I was we, I was on the road. So was Dan. Uh, we were on the road a lot for the show. It was pre-shutdown for sure. It was pre-shutdown, but that March time frame – was yep. if memory serves me correctly when i won the twenty thousand dollars off of post malone backstage <laughs> it was march 10th and i and here's why this was a big deal his people were trying to get him out of there to go do one more concert date and the, the media was destroying him for performing during covid like conditions he squeezed yep. in one more city and then he was the last concert pre-covid on earth got shut down immediately afterwards and then shit got wild. And I want to say that was, what, March 11th, somewhere in that time frame. Um, therefore, if this had come across my desk when a worldwide pandemic was breaking out, I would have moved this to the side. I mean, could you put this story out to, to Gen Pop and say, hey, man, uh, not only is there a disease that we can't see from China that is clearly not being reported and we know nothing about and it's killing people, uh, but also... There's an alien spaceship that we've recovered, and we'd like to share that with you as well. I think you've got to well, space these two out, right? Well, so there's that side, and I, I'm going to tell you what I really think. But I, before I give you my opinion, mm -hmm. I think the community, the MUFON community, the UFO community, the, you know, the, the believer community on, on spaceships 
is going, see, that meeting happened, that briefing happened in March. And in order to cover it up, mm -hmm. they had to do something extreme to make sure that that didn't leak or that was snuffed out. So this whole thing that's going on right now is going on because of this finding, these findings. That would be what I think the community at large is thinking. That's not what I think, but that's, I think, what the, the narrative is because it does seem very, very strange. It does. Uh, everybody, there's not a single person who's like, you know, the stuff that's going on today, it's, it's, it's normal. Like everyone's yeah. like, there's something just that doesn't add up. A so we're all looking for the, well, what doesn't add up and why yeah, yeah. doesn't it add up? That's the problem. And so I think that the community is saying that this is all happening to cover up the UFO mm. story mm. as opposed to the UFO story um, just being pushed aside because of COVID. Right. So now that we have all that out of the way, John. That's right. I want to hear it from your lips to God's cock. What do you think Easy. this... Now, come on. Was that necessary? Sorry about that, John. We're lowering the bar every time we have you on the show. Therefore, That's right. I want to drive That's that bar into the ground. I want to That's hear right. from your mouth what you think uh, of whether or not this is some form of spaceship or any alien vehicle. I, so my my honest opinion mm -hmm. is I think that I think this story is just another story in an unbelievable year of crazy stories and if there were anything to so i'm saying i don't think there really is a spaceship okay. i think that there is a fake alien invasion or fake encounter to somehow bring people together perhaps or to control people or whatever the reason is mm. but i and i and i'll and i'm going to kind of there 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 is a and I, again, I'm not saying I know anything. I'm not saying I believe in it. By and I'm I'm just like a skeptic to all this all this stuff. But there is a an aspect of the sort of paranormal community that was brought to my attention that I, to be honest with you, I was embarrassed to say I didn't really know much about it um, because I just didn't. I I just never heard of it. I don't know why. Is that the Project it. Blue beam that you just yes. brought up on your screen right there? Uh, Descri Blue. Describe that for the audience, for the for the audio right. listeners. What what is Project Blue Beam? All right, so Project Blue Beam. If you if you now here's what's weird, and Mr. Holloway can attest to this because yeah. if you Google it on different devices in <laughs> it at different times, you get different results. It's weird. Mm -hmm. It's very weird. So, yeah, it's very weird. Like it usually so because, Project Blue because Beam. Google is so large, like it, so many people search it. It takes a lot of effort to to make search results change. It's called search engine optimization. Mm -hmm. People do it professionally, but it takes an effort to do that. Stuff. Correct. So that's, what, that's why you brought it and up. And funding, yes. Yeah, a lot yeah. of money. Yeah. yeah. So so look at this, and I and and I want to make sure that I'm being really clear, and I want anybody to take this out of context. Maybe this is nothing. Maybe this whole maybe this is all nothing. Uh, it's a big fat zero. I. I just don't think that there's an alien spaceship flying around. Everybody's going to say, but the Navy's now admitting to it. But I, I think it's just a, I think it would be odd if you were to admit to it now. I just think that's it's the timing seems awfully weird. So Project Blue Beam, if you look it up on Google, it says Project Blue Beam is the conspiracy to orchestrate a fear-based scenario that unifies bodies of people to side with a preferred faction. And then it says one world government. The agenda of Blue Beam is to reach the global scale of unifying all governments into one world, a government that would make promises to save everyone, essentially, from false flags, essentially saying doomsday scenarios. And this theory, this this theory, Dan, what year did this theory come out? This was like Oh man, it wasn't that long ago. I no, guess. it was like in the eighties. Yeah, it was uh, it was in, in like the eighties. And it's and it's saying and now now when you when you all everybody independently we don't have enough time to you know dive into the extreme history but this was a sort of theory that was brought forward and then there were different scenarios and pillars to here's how you create one world order and one of them they, they there's a scenario A that says sponsored coordinated global terrorist attacks mm. okay is it, have we yeah. seen 
Something like that? Yeah, we've seen a bunch of it. It's, uh, blame unwanted scapegoats, it says directly underneath that as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look, Correct. It's, it's Russia, right? That's who we're, that's, in today's context, they've been funding terrorism. Although they're technically a Western country, mm -hmm. they've been funding terrorism. That's an aberration from normal. And yeah. Look at look at scenario B. It says infect the world population with a rapid viral agent. Rapid being the key word there because that is what distinguishes coronavirus from other viruses. Correct. Yes. Like it then says you know offer the vaccine only to compliant and submissive governments. Well, you're talking about I, creating a one world government, right? That that yep. that infrastructure already exists. It's the UN. If if we if every country on earth decided to cede power to the UN in any way right now, mm -hmm. that would be the government. The UN would be the government, and the uh, the uh, Secretary General would be the president of that government. You know. What and I mean? these yeah. are in, <clears throat> in these scenarios are the scenario. What what Project Blue Beam Blue Beam is outlining are the things that you could do to induce one world order. And then let me just jump down to scenario F because I'm cutting to the chase. If we just <laughs> read the, hey, you induce a rapid spreading viral agent that you offer a vaccine only to compliant people and governments, et cetera. And then you go down to scenario F of this and it says a fake alien invasion. <laughs> yeah. Like, this thing is so wackadoodle. Like what, what, we're living in 2020, and Project Bluebeam doesn't seem all that crazy now. Yeah, no. so I'm, I'm looking at scenario I on here, that, and it says implants one World Bank credit card chip into the citizens' hands. Don't comply, starve. In biblical terms, that's known as the mark of the beast. Yeah. No. Right? No. Yeah. Um, but in this, in our situation right now, I think that might be the vaccine. It wouldn't necessarily be... You and I, John, talked about this yesterday, actually, uh, offline, but... The credit card chip is a metaphor for access to society, right? So right. there, if you don't get the vaccine, all of a sudden there become places where you can't go anymore. And those places yeah. grow over time because people get overtaken by bigger businesses or the younger kids that don't know should take over those businesses and change rules with mm -hmm. progressive nonsense. That's how it happens. And all of a sudden, people who don't vaccinate for COVID are like outcasts or whatever the fuck. The way we currently so, look at anti-vaxxers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a very bizarre situation. Look, look at these different scenarios, guys. I mean, this is, if you look at scenario D, shut down, shut the internet down, crash cryptocurrencies to bend financial institutions into submission through cyber warfare protocols. Well, you know, I think all of that is possible, George, by the way. By the, I George, really do. George Soros has been doing that just non-digitally for years yeah like he's he his his involvement i think it was in uh turkish Turkey, currency and yeah. russian currency like mm -hmm. he fucked both of their economies up really badly yeah um by do like by shorting stuff and all, all this other stuff like that already exists that's already happening yeah the, the wildest thing about it is I, you know i don't know what year this is but again i all of it seems to be happening um in everyday life and uh and and i feel like um Man, I, we're currently living that now. And I, and I think it's who figured it out first, right? Um, I think with the COVID situation, last time you were on, we talked about conspiracies. COVID was one of them. I still have a real fucking hard time believing that it was one guy in a wet market eating a bat. And then all of a sudden it killed all the old people, people with respiratory problems, essentially people who couldn't work in China. Or around the world, you know, yeah. uh, doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt kids, so you can keep their little fingers going inside these shoe factories over there. I, I think I said to you guys way back when when this was first breaking, I think we might be in an era of the death of science. Yeah, because the, like when you yesterday yesterday on that Instagram post, or or whatever, it was Don Jr. and and Don and Trump and whoever mm -hmm. that forwarded that post about hey you know hydroxychloroquine is working against COVID or whatever. I don't know if they're right or not. I don't know if they're right or wrong. All that I know is that at one time in this country you had the right to be wrong. You right, like right. you <clears throat> could have an opinion about something that was false, and you could say things like. The president is a is an agent of Russia. Mm -hmm. Right. That's just patently false, but you could say it and that's okay, but somehow saying 
hey, we're a bunch of doctors and we think hydroxychloroquine works. We think that it's a cure. I think that her, the, the words were probably wrong, that it's not a cure. I think that, I mean, I'm no doctor and all I know is the information that I can find out and the people who I'm dealing with in the community. Hydroxychloroquine is being prescribed like it's, you know, out of a Pez dispenser. Right. Like yeah. people are taking it like crazy preventatively. And I, I, I don't know, if I were to make a bet, I bet it's, at worst a net neutral and at best it actually does does work and do something maybe i'm wrong maybe they're wrong but don't you have a right to be wrong and by us losing that and saying well that's disinformation man is that a slippery slope like it's what's considered correct reporting your findings even if they're small and a 350 person sample size is pretty small but even if they're small reporting your findings is not disinformation no it's adding the facts same. to the fucking debate i guess if you want to call it a debate or the scientific process you can't make a good yeah. decision without all of the information correct yeah you can't yeah. i and heard you know the thing about hydroxychloroquine that's that's fascinating to me is i heard a really brilliant idea that has not been implemented currently in the united states five million people take um plaquenil mm -hmm. which is the you know the the name for hydroxychloroquine yep. five million people mm -hmm. think of how easy it would be to just get the database of people who are on it and the database of people who have gotten coronavirus and shown symptoms and just compare it. You could do this in five minutes yeah. and say, hey, everybody who's on Plaquenil, did you get COVID or not? Did you suffer symptoms or not? And match it up and you could tell in a snap of fingers whether or not there's a correlation. Right. And, and I, I think of uh, back to some Facebook posts of friends of mine who... Um, because typically that drug uh, does uh, something for another disease. Um, do you know the name of it? Hydroxychloroquine? Yeah. Well, yeah. Lupus. It's usually lupus. for autoimmune. Yes. So I have relatives yeah. who are on it. They have lupus. They have autoimmune. Auto they have things. Yeah. Uh, you well, know, lupus in particular of... in, the, in the United States. Yep. So um, b people yeah. were bitching on Facebook of like, hey, people are buying up these drugs. Therefore, I can't get them anymore for shit that I used to take every single day and blah, 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 blah. Um, I, I would like to see those studies as well. I'm with you, John, in this camp of like, all right, hey, man, why don't you just do a quick survey and see how it's working? Um, but it, it feels like every day there is a new story popping up that so-and-so has a cure or, you know, uh, Pfizer just signed the, the deal with the government for up to 500 million um, doses uh, for their yeah. vaccines. Um, I, you know, you, you keep reading these things from all over the world that everybody's in phase three or phase four of these test trials. I don't know what's real and what's not. Um, what I do know is if they came out with a vaccine today, would you take it, John, you personally? Oh, uh, I don't get the flu shot. I don't either. Yeah. Like, I don't I, either. I don't, I don't, this is what, this is the way that I like to phrase my answer. I don't drink alcohol or caffeine and I don't get the flu shot. I don't, I don't take anything. Like the last thing I'm putting in my body is some untested, unproven vaccine. I just, <laughs> you know, yeah. I think honestly on the list of things that I'm going to inject into my body, I'm like, alcohol is going to come way, way before that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, of course. Probably nacho cheese first. Oh, you got to yeah. put that cheese in your you system. You can't get into the ballpark right now though. No, can't can't go anywhere near yeah. it. You can you can send them a picture of yourself. They'll print it out and put it up there. Yeah, but they won't they won't let you in. Eat some nachos no. uh, with your loved ones. Um, here's where I sit with this UFO thing, John. Go um, on. I don't. To me, because of COVID and, and the election and everything else that's going on, I don't view the UFO thing as enough of a distraction for people to care or get interested in. Um, even when the uh, the Pentagon dropped that footage. Mm. Uh, of the, the Navy pilots who was just like, oh, shit, what the fuck is that thing? And that clip has been seen millions and millions and millions mm -hmm. of times of uh, this unidentified uh, aircraft. Um, it was a cool story for about 48 hours, mm -hmm. and then people stopped caring. No one cares. Uh, no. Uh, uh, w with this uh, unidentified roving, what is it called, Dan? The what? roving spaceship? With oh, the, yeah, I don't know. The, the Land Rover. Just, what, whatever it is, right? I don't I, think that is a big enough... Uh, needle mover for uh, it to pr you know to get people's attention off the election or off the protests or off anything that's going on. Therefore, I would I would have a hard time believing that this came from Russia or another government who was like, "Hey, man, let's throw America in in even more chaos." Because there was a rumor that with the Roswell crash in what forty seven, that it was Russia who was sending 
things over to make us Americans think that there was UFOs about to land in our country and everything else. Mm. I don't necessarily know that you could get away with that in today's day and time. Uh, what I do think is, because I did some research on this myself, um, I mm -hmm. think there was enough senators from other states who kept reporting the same thing over and over again around military bases in particular. And Marco Rubio uh, was the one who finally said, look, guys, I've called the military bases. I've called everybody in Florida. We keep seeing the same fucking images in the skies. I'm tired of taking these phone calls from the, the, the general public. I want an answer to what these are. If we are indeed testing military um, uh, planes mm. that are that fast and that quick or, you know, to, to, to protect us, let us know so at least I can put out a statement to the people of Florida yeah, that like says, make something up. Yes, make something up. Um, the problem was they could never get that answer back. Marco Rubio could right. never get that answer back. So finally, you know, he kept moving this up the chain and said, all right, well, is this China or Russia? Because we're seeing these fucking things all over the coast and all over our military bases. And I'm starting to get worried because I don't know what the fuck it is. And if I don't have a real answer, then nobody else has a real answer. Um, and then finally, after a few weeks of deliberation, they came out with this story. Um, four days ago, we were in Los Angeles, California. Mm -hmm shooting there all week and uh there was yet another sighting in long beach of this same exact thing uh and the footage was on tmz and everywhere else where it feels like we're seeing the same exact thing over and over and over again and all this 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 footage now that's going on <sighs> there would be a lot of work for russia or china to put this together without our knowledge uh or if our own government was trying to trick us at this point is there not one single ounce of you that thinks that this is coming from another planet at all for me yeah i just i mean i uh, i just don't i think the the logic of hey there's a planet out there and some spaceships flew all the way across just like we think about it and came to earth i think that the from another planet traveling through space entering our atmosphere blah 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 just to me it sounds crazy i would buy way more into oh it's a wormhole oh it's an interdimensional thing like something that we can't even understand yeah something that's like way beyond this and and honestly like that that footage of um you know they're calling it the tic tac is the uh um, right right the navy footage that was released correct i'm a little disappointed in our government if the same people who launched a hubble telescope to take pictures you know billions of light years away the best they can do is a grainy video of a little dot on yeah. the screen. Like you just had an alien spaceship right in front of you. And the only thing you could get was a black and white 1960s looking dot. Like I'm a little disappointed that we don't have better cameras. Well, Dan, you would know the answer to that military wise. What, what, why? It's just a low resolution camera. That's it. Yeah. Um, and I guess like, why, and there's why aren't no they... other camera on the planet. Google Earth wasn't able to capture it. Who knows? Like, I mean, nothing captured you should be able this. To, from the relative position of the aircraft and the apparent magnitude of the device of the object you should be able to tell how far away it is which means you should be able to triangulate it and look through other cameras at that same time and see if something yep. was passing through there yes that is possible okay but totally who the fuck knows man who knows but I'll, I'll go back to a statement you made at the Wait, top of the before, show before yeah. you go back to that i want to tell you like what, he, what he's saying about the idea of a spacecraft being able to come to earth mm -hmm. right considering how old that civilization would be and how long it would take to travel here without wormholes or even with wormholes we really don't know but to think that that object would be a three-dimensional metal and plastic object like we would make is retarded it just doesn't, like, it doesn't make, make any sense, sense no. right it would have to be something that traveled traveled probably interdimensionally which would be something that we couldn't maybe not even see much much less recognize like if you see a flying saucer it looks like oh yeah that probably i mean it's weird it's alien but it belongs up in the sky but right? what, but but at least we have half of that answer right so what you just said is we wouldn't be able to see it um a lot of these things probably it, not yes it probably is not. it is barely flying in there catching moments of it in this footage and then it is flying away we can barely see it now my opinion is the the only thing you would probably see is light distortion like what einstein was looking for in general relativity, which is light bending around uh, big celestial bodies and shit like that, mm -hmm. um, it proves that it proves gravity. Everything. I'm not gonna get into it. So, but 
Here, here's something that I, I find to be unusual. Like we're we're in, we are definitely in wackadoodle times. So the, as you know, prior to this story breaking about the Navy, you know, recently like, hey, we've got these vehicles not of this earth. I have been saying, nah, you know what? I just don't, I don't buy into the UFO thing. I've done a ton of paranormal show shows. I've seen all the video footage. I've interviewed all the witnesses. I get, like, I just, I, I, I don't buy into it. So everyone said, everyone's like, oh man, Brinkus loves conspiracy theories. He's totally into this UFO thing. I'm like, I'm the opposite of into it. I'm like, I just don't <laughs> think it's real, right? So I'm not into it. Now, if someone says, oh, here's a news story that says the Navy found UFO footage and or UFOs, they have it, they found it. And if I say, I don't believe that, like, what are you, conspiracy theorist? What do you mean you don't believe it? The government says it's true. Like, yeah. I, look, I'll go back to what you said at the top of like people have stopped believing in science. Uh, from hanging yeah. out with Dan for three or 400 episodes at this point, um, with how many planets there are out there, Look, uh, and everything else going on in the uh, in the galaxy, uh, there's we we think now that there we, are two trillion galaxies, right? Like because we're standing on the edge of the universe that we are familiar with, this thing looks flat to us, but mm -hmm. it should not be flat. Look at everything in the sky; it's all round because that's what gravity does. It compresses things to a center point, and everything else exists around it. The universe should not be flat; it should be round. That's just math. That's how right. it works, right? right? We look at the universe, and to us, it looks flat. It looks for like 14 billion light years of flat space and that can't be possible that just like physics unless there's something major we don't understand about physics and that seems unlikely at this point that can't be possible so what we think is for the same reason when you stand on the earth and it looks flat to you even though it's curved mm -hmm. the curve is so far out that you can't see it so the projection now is that there are two trillion galaxies and in each galaxy there's about 10,000 habitable planets like come on man there's life out there there There's can't, definitely life. There can't not be life. I agree. I, so, so, right. I, so I agree with Dan. And, and the way that we are, because we, we had a guy, we had the lead engineer for uh, SpaceX on last night uh, on our show. Um, with the way that we are able to send uh, rovers to Mars and all that other shits, I, I just think there is other planets out there who are doing the same to us. Where it's like, hey, what else is out there? Well, I, let, let's, let's, let's be clear on what that means. I definitely believe in alien life. There's no doubt about it. This is, meaning I definitely believe on life, life not here. In fact, I pray to God there's life that's not here. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Because this this experiment of sort of human thought and logic is like going <laughs> terribly awry. <laughs> mm. If there's something else, it's all anyway, bugs. It's all bugs on a different planet. Yeah. It's all bugs on a whatever whatever is on other planets. And but they anyway, worked, they worked it, it out. There's clearly life just by math. It seems like there there would have to be life. Yep. But I think the idea, like you just said, hey, we sent a rover to Mars and whatever, and I can't imagine there aren't other people. Mars is very different than 2 billion light years away. Like, it's very different. It's like it's totally apples and oranges. You're talking about a completely different set of physics. Mm -hmm. And the, the linear thought and thinking, to me, is very flawed. It's, it, logic itself is very flawed. And I think that time itself is very flawed. When you think about we as human beings want an answer to when did the mm. universe start when is it going to end we we believe in a beginning and an end mm -hmm. why does there need to be a beginning and an end because there's if one there's somebody, a beginning and an end of our life and that's all we can like the idea of i agree with you the idea of logic like this this doesn't make sense so it can't be true it doesn't make sense to you with your current understanding that should be the real solution right like there should be a two-part yep. question there. Yes, it doesn't make sense to me now, so I can discard that part. But am I missing something? That's yeah. that's a scientific I, viewpoint. Totally. And nobody takes Read. it anymore. Paul Davies wrote this amazing book called About Time. Mm. And it's all about the different concepts of time that have happened throughout um, you know, every culture throughout mm. human history. I love the idea of there is no need for a beginning. There is the concept of if we really believe in infinity, if people are like, oh, man, the universe is infinite. Oh, man, that is infinite. Infinite means infinite in every direction. Yeah. It means there is no beginning. So if something had a beginning, it's not infinite. Right. I, uh, there probably can't be an infinite universe, though, because 
If it was infinite, that means it's also infinite in time, which means all the light from all the stars that have ever existed would have reached us by now, and we would never have nighttime. We are we are speaking. having this discussion with no drugs. Well, I'm, I'm, unbelievable. I'm, I'm on drugs. Well, we've got wow. wine. We've got a new sponsor here. We've got First Leaf uh, wine. <laughs> Tryfirstleaf.com forward slash drinking bros. It's a shit, dude. It's the it's best. best yeah. You get six bottles for $30. And, and uh, that is like, our new sponsor. So we are trying wine yeah. here for this conversation. You go through and drink all the wines. You write them notes back. They decide what's going to be in your next box. Yes. It's real simple. It's the simplest thing of all time. Yeah. And you get six bottles for $30. Go to Try First Leaf dot com forward slash drinking bros t r y f i r s t l e a f dot com forward slash drinking bros try first leaf i don't know forward i don't know if bros. you spelled that correctly or not i did i did because I, I i live in this world and i've only had uh half a bottle of this so far so. here's what i do How did you spell it again i thought it was spelled <laughs> k-i-l-l-c-l-i -L 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 well that's our next sponsor uh <laughs> and that's a that's a beautiful segue uh, KillCliffCBD.com forward slash drinking bros. Best in the biz. 25 milligrams of CBD in every mm. single can. Uh, got it on my desk. I, by the way, drink this. Dan and I drink, a, a, no lie, a can of this every single night. Yeah, and uh, I'm I back do. in Wilmington, North Carolina, so I have my Kill Cliff. We were in Los Angeles last week. Didn't have it, and I, I felt like I was freaking out a little bit. Yeah. Um, there is no carbs, no sugars in this, only 15 calories. You will not piss hot uh, for THC or anything. Uh, Kill Cliff is the only name you can trust in the CBD space, especially if you're, you're working out there in the, in the real world where, you, yeah. where you've got to get drug tested, not in Dan's world. Where uh, I do give myself drug tests, but it's more for clout. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like I hang the results up on the wall. You know, <laughs> yeah, you have to. You have to. Uh, three, rights. <laughs> three amazing flavors, the grape, uh, mango, and uh, orange. All Push. of them. I, I, can never, I can never decide which one. And uh, everyone is drinking fucking Kill Cliff CBD and vodka this summer. I get it. It is the best on the planet. Mm -hmm. Go to KillCliffCBD.com. Today, promo code Drinking Bros gets you 20% off a case and free shipping. That is a very big deal. Last but not least, GhostBed.com forward slash Drinking Bros. D'Anthony. 30% off everything in the entire store if you were a member of the military, a first responder, uh, work for the government, or a teacher. If yeah. you're a regular human like myself, a regular civilian, you get 25% off everything in the entire store, and you, you also get two free pillows with a mattress, which is $180 savings. All of those deals are applicable with their 36-month pay-as-you-go program, no interest, at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. And if, if we're going to indeed get shut down, Again, for a second time in this country, you might as well sleep in comfort. You yep. might as well have a Kill Cliff CBD in bed and a glass of wine and call it a fucking day. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. So what happens, uh, John, if the footage comes out in a week or so and you look at it and you're like, holy shit, it is not plastic. It is not metal. It does not look like anything from this earth, from the Pentagon. What will you think then? Will you still believe that it is a false flag? I, you know, there, there's going to be, um, there's going to, it's going to take <laughs> You're a pained lot. by this, by it the is. way. You're I'm really pained by fucking because pained I think, by this. Here's why I'm pained by it. Because it's so obvious to me that the narrative of UFOs is very Buck Rogers. It's, it's very <laughs> 1940s. It is. It's like, oh my God, you know, oh my gosh, there's a spaceship flying and it goes, <laughs> Yeah, like it just yeah. Sounds, you, you can like tell. This, this you can tell. All the original fucking spaceship models were very aerodynamic. I just want to give you uh, a little bit of insight about how physics works. So there's no air in space, so right. you don't need to be fucking aerodynamic. No, no. There's no wind right. resistance in space. You, it could be a giant fucking circle. It could be a square. It could be a giant goddamn cube. Doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. Or it could be just a sail. Oh yeah, I but, but it, some of the images that have been released look like giant rocks, like asteroids. Um, they just look like tic tacs, mm -hmm. right? They're like little dots. I, yeah, I'm I'm only pained by it because I've worked on so many paranormal shows and looked into this so extensively. Sure. That you know, look, maybe there's a, a craft that's built by I don't know. I mean, me look, I'm always I'm. 100% willing to consider new opinions, new information, new data. I'm not like a lot of people who are like, nope, I've got my opinion and that's it. I'm totally willing to change my mind. I just, I have this skeptical like nature of even if footage were released where it's like, look, we captured a, a ship, my mind would immediately go to, gosh, you know, the Avengers looked really good too. Mm -hmm. Like I swear New York got destroyed by a giant centipede 
with the CG. So and the movie, I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you. I'm not. I and I think that that's what's interesting is that this story isn't getting a ton of traction in terms of people, you know, just waiting to see what comes out. People are like, yeah, whatever. I don't know. You know, uh, it's, look, it's weird I can't, I don't you, can, you can chalk it up to 2020. Yeah, at this I don't point. see a huge uproar. No, at all. Not, no, no one has said fucking five words about this no. because they're, they're worried about what Biden said today or or Trump didn't say about covid. And, uh, you know, there's. It's it, look. It's an interesting uh, case study, and in, in, as far as like people's psyches go, right? A, a pandemic is going on. People are losing their jobs. Shit is getting shut down. They're worried about their families, how they're going to pay for things, if there's going to be another stimulus check. Uh, when, when something is as big as an alien potential, alien finding, comes into the the picture, they're like, "Sweet, is that going to employ me?" No. Is that going to stop the COVID or my kids going to go back to school in the fall? Do I have to hire a nanny? No. Well, great. I'm moving on with my fucking life. Let the aliens land at this point. Yeah. That's, that's kind you, of what it feels like. Dude, did you guys read about CAA yesterday? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, dude, I oh, talked about Lord. it on uh, Ross Patterson Revolution where um, the movie in television industry is crumbling around us. And I, I tried to warn everybody this morning. I just said, look, here's what that CAA firing means. Here's what the rest of it means. And, uh, Oh my God. That's it. Uh, are you hearing some crackling there from an alien? There it is. There it is. I, you, you're starting to believe. What is that? How weird is this? Yes. I'm telling you. It, Do you hear Georgia, this? Can Giorgio pick that up? Or is he pissing no, for the thousandth like, time? I have to log out and log back in. No, it's like you all don't. messed up. You don't. Let it play. This is part of the show. Let it play. This is the fucking aliens tapping in, trying I, to get you to believe. Dude, it's not the aliens. It's whoever's listening to us talk about Project Blue Beam. Who cares? <laughs> Let Project Blue Beam live, dude. We should name Did this show Project that? Blue Beam. Yes. Yeah, Did, we, yeah, yeah, we hear it. It sounds like somebody's trying that? to reach out and talk to you right now from a fucking another planet right now. Yes, have, wait, we hear it. Are you guys hearing whatever interference is happening? We on my are. End? Giorgio, are you picking that up on on the mics? Yeah, so he's, he's got it. He's picking it up. What is this? I don't know. Be quiet I've for done, a second. I, I, like, I'm not kidding. No, like, this sounds like uh, Dennis Quaid in that that's radio show. What's the fucking... It's like... What's what? the radio movie like, where Dennis Quaid comes through the the uh, the radio? This is the weirdest thing oh, yeah, yeah. ever. Oh, my God. Yeah. This, like, my computer is literally freaking out. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I have to like. There it is. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah. Do you think maybe it's the water? Wait, Wait, hang on. Do you know how many hundreds of hours I've done, and this has never happened? I, I, hang on. <laughs> like, Let it be quiet for a second. See if we can hear it. I don't know. I mean, I heard it a lot through the last. Yeah. Like, I heard it a lot. Two minutes. Yeah. It's like when we address it, it goes away. It was like somebody trying to talk to you. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's like when you're pounding off under the cover and somebody walks in the room. I knew it. My yeah. wife said, "Don't mention Project Bluebeam." Did she the really? The NSA's coming. <laughs> it's funny, man. My wife says that shit to me all the time. She's like, "Dude, stop talking about aliens." She's like, and shit stop all talking the time. about it. And I'm like, no, "Don't Google that." No, I won't. You know, it's gonna show up. But I, this is never. You all heard it. We have to play that back and see if we can decipher the message. We, we will. will. Yeah. So it, it sounded like a voice. It's happening again. Yeah, yeah. it sounded like a voice. By the way, like a male voice. Trying this to is get freaky. In. I have, I am not recording this, but if you guys we are, are, then we have it on. And our our sound engineer, uh, Giorgio, he says he's got it, so it's there. There it is. Something is. He's freaking very out. Very awry. I Hang guess. on, he's freaking this out. This is super weird. This is freaking me out a bit. So you're picking this up, Giorgio? <laughs> you know, only because it's never had. I have like the most rock solid setup Wait, ever. Hang, hang on, hang on, John. Hello. Hello. Is someone trying to talk to me? <laughs> Get what if, what out. if he fucking answered? What if he fucking answered? I don't know. This just turned into like a horror film. I don't know. Film. I'm like trying to figure so this we're all, out. This we're all so hearing freaky. this. Like, Giorgio, you're hearing this. Like, you've got it all. This just is in case it does turn into a horror film, by the way, I'm armed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so always going to go. <laughs> yeah. it's and gonna, just so you all know, I'm very armed as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah so this, this whole office. So if you're breaking into my house, yeah. I'm armed. Same. It's going to so. go well. This me. entire office is, is armed. So oh, my God. Yeah. Wow, that's really weird. That's you can hear a human male voice. What is this? You know the the beauty of it is so Giorgio smokes weed literally all day long. Yep. Um, this has got to be the greatest or he, worst thing you've ever heard on a, weed. He's Giorgio. having a full blown existential crisis right now. <laughs> what is this? You can hear it. Well, yeah, 
You can hear that voice, right? Uh, is it coming through through my microphone, or are you guys hearing it being fed through? Uh, I don't hear it through your mic. It's, I, it's I don't after hear, you talk. Yeah, it's after you talk, but then there's it's something else. So it's almost like it's mimicking you or mo or mocking you. I don't know. Yeah, this is really freaky. We need it. We need you know to clip what? this out. I am honestly. so fucking happy this happened. You fucking UFO denier. You deserve every <laughs> single second of this. The I'm voice just, that follows you. Think it's UFOs. It's the, the hey, man that hey, shows up to your house tonight. Everything that you is. Think, you think the UFOs have like, like you think like aliens are like logged into the Internet. Yes. Trolling, like going, I wonder what Brinkus is saying. I bet they are, dude. And they're like, he doesn't believe. Great. Let's make him believe now, dude. We'll send some shit. We through need his, to do something through his Zoom mm -hmm. with his uh, Bahama back background in the back yeah uh, bahamas I'm, I'm actually on the beach yeah of but, course of course yeah. uh the beaches uh, the beaches of atlanta which are beautiful Ooh, dude oh, beautiful. someone needs to run no. this through like a some sort of I, I i i'm pretty good at pro tools if you guys send this back i'll yeah we can, we can send you the audio well. file yeah. hey let me ask you this what, on, on your show when you were doing this uh what did you do in situations like this when you got footage that you couldn't believe I, I couldn't hear a word you were saying. Really? Really. Um, on your show, when you, when you had footage like this on the Sci-Fi Network, right? And you yeah. had shit like this. Who did you give this to? Because I'm sure you guys had a production team that would kind of fact check yeah, all these we had, things. We had, we had scientists from NASA and, you know, ton, like just a ton of people that we would send. To, like if it was a footage of some creature, we would send it to zoologists and you know, if you had a picture of aircraft, we'd send it to somebody, you know, in the yeah. military and say, what do you think this is? A lot, I mean, almost I, I literally all of the footage, there was some kind of pretty rational explanation for it of like, oh, it was it was a group of guys skydiving at night. And it, that's what made it look like this. And they broke apart and it looked like it was shape shifting, but it's just dudes with flares. Mm. And then we would hire dudes with flares and have them jump out of a plane, make it look exactly the same and recreate it and be like, all right, well, now I know what it is. You, uh, so there's been no footage that, I've, that we came across where I'm like, gosh, this is truly unexplainable. There's a lot of misidentification. And I don't think it's, I don't think it's anybody, it, you know, I think most people just misidentified some people clearly put on hoaxes and i don't know what i don't know what to think of this government footage other than i don't know well it, like, Ro it, ross claims got something someone else has no it. yeah Ro ross claims to have been probed a number of times well that was uh, in college why are you so invested in this ufo thing ross like, uh, you're like all I'll, in because he got I'll tell probed you why. is why no I'll, I'll tell you why to, to, to be honest with you um go on with the with the way that we are able to go back into space pretty quickly now uh, with SpaceX and everything else that's going on. Uh, and again, we had the guy from um, SpaceX on uh, mm -hmm. last night who was talking about the Starlink and the internet and satellites and everything else. I know Facebook years and years ago sent out sa satellites that were supposed to go to other mm -hmm. planets, but they were like, look, it's going to take 30 years to retrieve any yeah. of that footage. I have a very hard time believing that there is other planets that are not trying to do the same thing to us right now right but radio Fine. waves travel at the speed of light right mm -hmm. which means the nearest star system to us that probably has well, the nearest star to us i think is two million light years away mm -hmm. so that would probably be the nearest point where there would be a planetary system that had life probably right but even if it was ten thousand years that's well beyond our ability like what happened ten thousand years ago on earth do you know i'm gonna do you think ten thousand years I don't know from if you guys are do you think ten thousand years like from now? Like and shit. Do you think ten thousand years from now, people are gonna know what we were doing right now? Probably not, right? So it's too big for the human brain. It's too big a time gap for us to fucking even conceptualize how long it would take to travel that far. Not just us as people. That would take even longer. But I'm talking about just the information through radio waves through space it would take, for, for all intents, uh, per, for our society, an mm -hmm. infinite amount of time. Yeah, and, and look, I. What is that goddamn noise? I'm telling you, man. Look at it's hey, all look, in. I'm re I just recorded that because no, I don't know if was, you guys are hearing the same thing I'm hearing. We're hearing the same thing. Yeah. Transmission, and it was Dennis Quaid. Ah, there who it is. Do you, right? Who yes, do you? Uh, who do I email this to? Uh, email to Dan. We'll put it. We'll put it in the show. Here, put it in the show right now. Yeah, like, yeah. This is what, what I'm hearing on my end. No, it's, we're no, I literally. By the way, we're it. hearing it, and so is the audience. I hear it too. We're hearing it, and so is the audience. By the way, so it's not just you. But do you? Is it completely covering your voice? No, but it's very. 
audible. Like it's very, it's look, it's, it's loud I, enough. I would say. I'll, I just sent. Look, I just sent you the. I just held my phone up and recorded yeah, it. Yeah. And sent you the file. Play it. I it's just crazy. Sent it, I sent it to. Uh, well, here I'll play it on mine too. Yeah, you, you can play it on yours. But hands, uh, right? but to finish that or thought, hook it in real quick. Um, if other planets have existed for many, many years and they've been sending shit out for many, many years and all that other stuff, like mm. uh, it's not beyond the realm for me to believe that there is UFOs or people trying to they, look for uh, at other planets the could, same way we are. They could be here, but they would be millions, if not billions of years farther along in their evolution and civilization than we are. And so I think they are. Their level of technology would be such that we would not be able to recognize them in any way, that's in my opinion. And, and that's what I believe in, by the way. Yeah. So I think with what the Pentagon is saying of like, hey, man, this is not from this world. We've never seen anything like it. It makes sense to me. All of it makes sense. And I'm not I'm not willing to dismiss it because I don't know what else is out there. And uh, I don't I don't have that capability. You think, just, do you think the uh, go- you think the government's been straight up? No. Do you think like their explanations have no. been like dead on? No, no. but I'll, like, I'll take it back to 1947 with the Roswell thing, right? When you were on the show last time, we were talking frequency. about uh, frequency. That's, that's it with Dennis Quaid, um, where he was the dad. We're going through frequency right now. Is your have you had a relative die recently? I don't know. Did you guys play? Uh, do you have that file? Because you've got to hear how loud I've got it is. It, but I can't end. hear anything. Hang on a sec. Yeah, it's going, going through right now. I can hear. We can hear it right now. Um, it, I don't know why it's not playing. Did you have a relative who's dead? Who recently died? There's something weird. It's very <laughs> organic. It's probably RFI, radio frequency interference. Almost. Maybe. Maybe not. It's Dan. Probably have you guys probably ever had this happen? No, not once in no. our... We've, we've recorded now between Drinking Bros and Ross Patterson Revolution almost 1,400 episodes. We've never had this happen one single time. No. So uh, here I'm sending you the next file that I just sent. It's is, just like it's so loud. Is all of your? Do you have any d- recent dead family members? Uh, I mean, depends how we d- define recent. My oh. dad passed away. You know, he didn't pass away in this house. He passed away in a different house. Sure, but but you know, like in the last half, almost two years ago. Hey man, uh, that might not be out of the realm of possibility. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm I'm freaked at I'm I'm a little freaked at this. Like I'm telling you. My setup is so rock solid that there's no way. I have not had frequency of any kind disturb anything. <laughs> the last one almost sounded like my voice, so it could be mine. Who knows? I, I, I'm willing to, to I can't listen hear to you. all of it. Yeah, it's crazy, right? I literally cannot hear you. So, And I'm not on, I'm on a hard line. I'm not even on Wi-Fi. Brankus. Like, I'm, like what, what could be interfering? <laughs> Your dad, dude. It's your dad who's interfering. Yeah, I, he doesn't not, want you I'll on the show. That's the next thing. That's the uh, the next thing is I I wholly believe in ghosts, in spirits, in something, but I just haven't seen any footage that I find terribly compelling. All right, Dan, you got to weigh in on this one then. So D- Brinkus says he fully believes in ghosts, um, but but he does not believe in aliens. What's more probable to you? No, wait, no, wait, stop. You are totally mischaracterizing this. <laughs> I am saying there are aliens. Alien life does exist. I'm saying it doesn't fit into the narrative that's been constructed. They're going to be interdimensional beings. There's going to be something that we can't even see them. They're standing right. Look at Dan. He's an alien. Well, like, te- look at him. Technically, it's very likely that we're all aliens because the one of the prevailing right. theories is that chunks of ice broke off from mars and had organic material entered our atmosphere Dude. and that's where life on earth came from yeah that's a pretty widely held theory so i but anyways ghosts that's nonsense yeah but it's nonsense that this is goes back to what we were talking about with logic before it's nonsense if you think about it in a three-dimensional world with beings like us like is it just some fucking clear thing that doesn't have that dimension maybe the fourth dimension would look um like we wouldn't be able to perceive it at all. It would be something we that would, existed between dimensions, essentially. And right, uh, yeah. That, it, and that I would say energy can be neither created nor destroyed. Something is powering our body. Well, in you my, didn't say that. Thermodynamics said that, John. Who? Who Therm- said that? Thermodynamics. That's one of the laws, right? Correct. Yeah. Right. I'm not. I, I, I'm Don't not try to take credit, credit for thermodynamics. <laughs> Jesus. Um, hey, I've got an, I've got a Brinkus. Uh, I've got another Brinkus theory. Okay. Force is fast times acceleration. It's brand new. <laughs> <laughs> you 
E equals uh, MC squared. E equals MC squared. <laughs> Brinkus said it first. I might get some Taco Bell tonight now. I don't know why. But you that, have ju- to. that just made me want to eat Taco Bell. Can you explain why that is? Uh, pro- probably uh, uh, John's dad can. Because um, I think it's it's either your dad or or, or mine that's popping. Well, through. your dad was the radio host. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. What'd your dad do, John? Uh, my dad was involved. My dad was kind of involved in uh, outfitting the government with technology. No uh, shit! Come on, nice. dude. Here we are. Here We've we had are. our answer all so along. You're, you're a fucking look at this sp- waveform of interference. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> like, so like, John, John Brinkus, you heard it here first, folks, is a as a fucking sleeper agent for the U.S. government. Yeah, now we know the answers. <laughs> you don't out. want us to believe in in UFOs. You don't want us to have a bigger pool than Kanye. I Dang mean, come it. on, dude. Come on. Uh, Does he have a really big pool? I'm being exposed. It's not as big as Drake's, yeah. and that's what I've heard. Mm. Do you think I, there's some beef between I, them because of that? Yeah, there is. Mm. Uh, <laughs> It's not that so, Kanye's pool isn't nice. It's just Drake's is bigger. But yeah, I see. <laughs> what do here, you think it is, John? What, you're, you're playing it back over there. What do here, you think that? I'm gonna play it back. Is? I'm gonna God. see if it'll play back. God. Let me see. The wave file is huge, by the way. Look, it looks big. Oh, yeah, that's what she said. Let me see if this plays back. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on, stand by. I don't know if it will. It'd be great if you were able to if capture it, break it down. You and can't it's play just, it from your computer because the mixed minus will take it out. It's a or what, what if it was just it, it just pops up as clear as day oh, and it was Trump, Trump saying make America great again? That would be funny. What if it was like a vampire? <laughs> like you can't see, you can't. There's no mirror reflection or whatever the fuck. But in this case, you can't hear it if it's played back. We've had problems with our AC in this building today too. Did you? So, uh, who knows, man? Don't you guys have it? Yeah, we have it. I have it, but my computer won't play audio right now. I got to reboot it for that to happen. Yeah. Yeah. My I'll, I'll force it's you, weird. Ross. Hang on. Uh, for so, my phone if you can just text it to me here well, is you want to see the most wackadoodle thing ever so look at this it. here i'm gonna yeah. you know what i'm gonna show you guys how crazy this is yeah go ahead. so look you're gonna like this so on the program that i have to play this back look at this look at how look at look at how crazy this is so Adidas? here ecam live look at this sound levels all right y'all can see that yeah yeah so you see this thing it says brinkus right there yeah wait a minute hold on all right, you see the thing that says Brinkus. That's my cell phone. That's this actually hooked up to, it's my cell phone actually hooked up to the computer. I plug yeah. it in. To, I, I'm pressing play to play you back the file. Okay? Yeah, and it's got nothing. Okay, do you hear anything? Uh, Wait, yeah. do you hear anything? I, I, no, no, I don't. You don't. No. You don't. You don't hear anything, but it is currently playing. It is currently hooked up, and I cannot click on it. I, um, like, I can't click on it. Nothing is playing. <laughs> Ross, I just sent, I sent you, I just texted you the WAV file, so you try it out. All right, we'll try it out on, you try uh, it. on, on live on air. And I will say this. Uh, this is very much like Project Bluebeam, where uh, it does not show up when you exist. So let's see. What do we got here? Um, all right. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Holy shit, it's way louder on your side. <laughs> wow. That's fucked up. So I can hear us talking, but in between at the top of that. Yeah. yeah. That's way louder on his side than this on ours. Yes. That's way louder. I- that's what so I'm saying. I can I can hear us, but then there's this huge loud scratching there. That is, what what is that? Is that somebody recording or trying to transmit? What do you think, dude? I don't know. And I'm still hearing it like faintly in the background. Oh, there it is. Look, it's, it's loud as shit now. Oh my god, this is. It's gotten like ten times louder on my side. Yeah. I'm not kidding you. Because like our voices are distinguishable in the background, mm-hmm. but also this is going on at the same time. But it's like you can't Project Blue Beam, baby. Once it starts, you can't hear shit except no. for the scratch. Yeah. I, I can't hear anything. Ooh, it is the weirdest Giorgio, thing. Giorgio, man, I would not want to be this high. I would. I do not want to be as high as Giorgio right now and having to deal with this shit. I'm just trying to think what the title is. Whew. We're gonna call it Project Blue Beam, obviously, and then yeah. uh, let people the, figure it the, the fuck out. The title of this is. I don't know the Brinkus Blue Beam or something. It's called oh. yeah. Brink, Brinkus <laughs> dot 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 E equals MC squared. <laughs> <laughs> no, M equals MA. Oh, gee. <laughs> oh, uh, now's the point in the show. We get to the drinking bro of the week. Um, this one was anonymous, actually. 
So uh, I'm curious to see what this is. It says uh, they've been a, a drinking bro for two years, and they're nominating Casey Hayden. Casey was a Marine who could make anyone laugh no matter what your relationship was with him, whether you just met him at the grocery store or he was hanging out at the barracks drinking the night before uh, a company run. He was one of the hardest working guys I ever knew. He didn't take shit from anyone, no matter their rank or position. He stood up for guys no matter who was talking shit. He wasn't a poster uh, child for the Marines, but he guys? was easily one of the top Marines I ever knew. I hear it. I hear uh, it. Uh, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hang on. If let me let me get through the drinking bro of the week. Do uh, it. Casey took his life early in July, and we were still trying to figure out why. He always seemed to be so happy. If you take anything from this drinking bro of the week, let it be to check up on your happy friends. They need help too. Thank you. What if this is Casey trying to come through right now? You. There's a lot of people who believe in. I believe if one of our fans were to die, and some have actually. Patrick, yes, a lot, a lot, a lot of. Other ones. I feel like if they would die, they would probably use whatever means um, available to them to troll us from the afterlife, right? Yeah. If Play that's back. a thing. What? Playback the file I just emailed you. You should have it as an attachment. Hang on. It, I Ross, it. I sent it to you. Ooh. Dana sent it to you. You got to hear this. Do you have it, Ross? Yeah, I got it. Um, what's, what, what's on this one? You got to hear this. I will. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll play it into the mic here. This is fucking... It's a weird show, man. I love doing these weird shows. I love that First Leaf is here so we can fucking drink through this. All right, here, here. we go. Here play. we go. I'm going to put it right into the microphone, okay? Yeah. It's a minute. Giorgio, man, I would not want to be this high. I, would, I do not want to be as high as Giorgio right now. I'm not having to deal with this shit. Whew. Well, we're going to call it Project Blue Beam, obviously. And then, the uh, let the title know. of this is... I don't know, the Brinkus Blue Beam or something. I don't know. It's called, yeah, <laughs> Brinkus dot 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 E equals MC squared. <laughs> <laughs> no, F equals MA. Like, jeez. I've been drinking well for two years and I've been dating Casey Hayden. Casey was a Marine who could make anyone laugh no matter what your relationship was with him. But there's no such a grocery store here in the Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. You hear Brink is, uh, guys? Holy wow. shit. And it was, dude, that was during the drinking bro of the week who passed away. Um, and maybe, it, maybe it's Casey. Yeah. How weird is this? <laughs> this is like, I've, I've got to tell you, I've done probably about 20 shows with John. On that same equipment, yeah, that yeah. He's on right now, I, no, same thing. Nobody has production dialed in more on uh, in the new technology and Zoom and everything <laughs> else is you. This is definitely not coming from your end. We can see it on ours and and this. Like you can clearly hear where our voices are, and then where this noise is coming in, man. Uh, this is really, really strange. Um, really I, I think the only thing that we've had like this in the history of our show is when we did a, a show with uh, the Terrorist Whisper. And he was oh, talking yeah. shit about Iran, and, we and then we got hacked. Day. We got yeah. hacked live on air. Yeah, um, and we were doing uh, a live feed on YouTube, and uh, and it got hacked. Um, All of our I'm passwords, sure like is. everything, like uh, we have ExpressVPN, and they shut it down, and like it was awesome. But yeah, here is here is scientifically what it could be: uh, unshielded cable that's getting RFI radio frequency interference. But other than that, no. It yeah, yeah. He, we've got clean audio on this side, so like clearly, whatever this is is yeah. going on. Yes, dude. All I know is this: this proves everything I said today. No. Yep. No. Sure does. Aliens exist, brother. This is why we can This is why we can never have an honest mm. debate about any title or any <laughs> subject in America. Because anytime there's a little bit of evidence, even if it's fucking tangential or causal, we're like, oh, fucking see. Yeah. Told you. Nope. You can smoke cigarettes and still be healthy, it's man. It's right here, Hell my yeah. man. It's right here. Uh, John proved it today. John, uh, appreciate you proving UFOs were real today right. and that everything um, I said was true. They are trying yeah. to connect with us. They are trying to touch us. They are trying to be inside of us. Well, you've already been you gotta, Yes, you got to let them. You got to let them go. You got you to gotta let those cheeks get I clapped. I think it would be an honor to be probed by aliens. Yeah. Why would you go out complaining about it? I wouldn't. Like, of all the people that exist so on Earth, they fucking pulled your ass out and stuff 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 up your butt yeah the, oh I, the only thing that is consistent with this noise on my end is whatever you're talking about 
if you're talking about something like aliens probing and that it just starts going off. Yeah, I, whatever we've been chatting about is kind of yeah. clicked through. Um, I hate to admit this, but yes, on on yesterday's show that we recorded with uh, Rob O'Neill, yeah, uh, he and his dad were on. They were talking about how uh, Rob's grandfather, Tom's father, haunts the house that they live in and leaves quarters and leaves quarters lying yeah. around. Yeah. Right yeah. now, talk about aliens or something. See if it comes back. Well. When the alien footage gets released next week, John, you don't have to fucking twist my arm to talk about aliens. Now, he was saying uh, don't I think it's talk about all aliens. Real. Oh, and don't talk about don't, aliens. See if it comes back. Yeah. All right, great. Uh, let's let's talk about Francis Scott Key. Uh, racist or non-racist? Go. Whoa. Oh, they don't like racists. They either. don't like Francis Scott Key. I can hear that. Clear as day, dude. Who are these dickholes? They don't like Francis Scott Key. Let's go. Uh, You're asking me if a fucking dude that lived in the late 18th century was racist. Answer, yes. <laughs> 100% yes. Every single one of them. Yes. Um, let's, need to- let's go uh, uh, Betsy Ross or Harriet Tubman. Anything? Like in a fight? Yeah. Do you got anything on your side on that one? Betsy Ross or Harriet Tubman? Are they, does, the, does the aliens agree with them and their plates? Do the aliens agree? With them Do. or their plight. Yes, yes, yes. I've yes. been receiving DMs about your poor grammar on, on the show. You know what's recently. weird is I can write it. I just can't speak it well. Yeah, you're terrible. 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 Well, this is weird. I get it all the time. The aliens are coming, so it doesn't matter now. We're yeah. going to be speaking yeah. alien. Yeah. Now it doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll be speaking whatever that um, is. Yeah, I just want to make sure that it is known to everyone. You are gonna, you guys are streaming this, and you got to post it right away. If I should I disappear, it was Project Bluebeam. Yeah, oh, that would be you know. great, dude. If just, you did though, the ratings right. would be through the roof. John. Yeah, I, it would be, roof. It would be worth it for you to disappear. To be honest, <laughs> yeah. Would you do that for us? Even if, it, uh, you know if what? it's real or not I, real, I just almost, disappear. I don't disagree with you. Like I would, it would like be a great legacy. <laughs> Kill Cliff would, would come amazing. out with a new drink. It's got an alien head on it that yeah. says Fine Brinkus. Yeah. Hashtag Fine Brinkus. God. Brinkus, he was the sports science guy who ended up disappearing while on Drinking Bros talking about Project Blue Book. Yeah, yeah Blue Project Blue Beam. Blue Beam. I, the hilarious Project thing Blue is, because I can still hear it going Look off it, in I'm the talking about Project Blue Beam, and it goes crazy it's on loud my as end. shit. Yeah, loud as shit. Um, the beauty of it is, is you, is you didn't believe in any of this stuff. And I'm really happy this happened to you on this show today. The, it, it couldn't uh, only yeah. be better if Jesse was here. Because you can make her like you're not right, but because you can't admit that you're wrong, <laughs> you would be making her eat crow all week. Yes, even this though is, it would not be deserved. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! All right, I gotta go because I gotta go uh, ball myself in a. You're corner really rock. freaked out about this, by the way. I'm, I love I'm it. freaked out that there's. Well, first of all, I'm freaked out because if it is something technical, it's not. That means that my setup, my setup is somehow flawed, which is not good. But I'm assuming it's not something technical, so I do need to go hide. Yeah, <laughs> finally, dude. Here's what we do on Drinking Bros. We talk about stories. Uh, we make them come true. Right. Yep. And then we turn non-believers into believers. That's what we did today with John Brinkus. Uh, we appreciate yeah. you joining us. I would definitely find a bunker near you. For D'Anthony yep. D'Anthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros. There it is one more time. Come on, brother. We'll see you next time. Good night, everyone. Ha, <laughs> ha.